and welcome to this Price of Job tutorial. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Area Calculator. The Area Calculator is a handy tool that's included with any module that requires an area field, such as walls or flooring. In this example, we're looking at the Concrete Floor module, and we see here in the Area field that if we already know the area of our floors, we can just input that value manually. However, if not, there's the Area Calculator icon here just on the right side of the field. We can click on that to open the Area Calculator. And this opens the Area Calculator window. Now there are a variety of ways that we can use the Area Calculator. The first is to build our own area. And we would do that by clicking plus add area. And in the simplest of scenarios, we would just have a square or rectangular room, in which case we would select that, and then enter the dimensions of our room, say 5 meters by 3 and save. And press job calculates the area of this section and adds it to the area calculator. And say perhaps this room had an extra closet in it and we want to add that floor area as well, we could click add area, add one more square area, and add a section that's one meter square. And save. And this is added to our area calculator. When we save this, this area is added to our estimate and price job then makes all the calculations based on our calculated area. Anytime we need to review our calculations, we can click the area calculator icon again to open the area calculator. If we need to edit any of these values, we can do so by clicking the pencil icon here to edit, and this reopens our edit figure, where we can change the values as necessary. So let's adjust this to 6 meters and save. And this adjusts our total area. When we save this, it updates the area used by our estimate. Now let's go back into the area calculator and let's say perhaps that we're pouring a basement section where the concrete floor will have a cutout for a sump pump. In that case, let's add an area here and again we'll choose a square and for this we'll set the area of the cutout at half a meter by half a meter and we'll note at the top that there's an operator here called plus. Because this is a cutout, what we want to do is click the drop down menu here and select minus because this area will be subtracted from the total area of our floor. So let's go ahead and save that. And here we can see a negative area has been deducted from our total area. We also see here a column for titles. And as we fill our calculator with more areas, it's a good idea to title your sections to avoid confusion. So here we might call this main room. Here we might call this closet. And then here we might call this sump pump. And this is a good habit to get into because although the calculations might seem obvious to us at the moment, when we come back to this calculator several days or weeks or months from now, or we hand off the project to another user, everything will be much more clear. So again, once we're done our calculations, we click save, and this new area is adjusted to our estimate. Now let's go back into the area calculator and look at some more advanced shapes. Let's say, for example, we have an irregular shaped room that looks something like this and it's up to us to calculate the area of this floor. Well, if we try to add an area here and look in the shapes calculator, we have a variety of shapes that we can choose from, including a right trapezoid, a square, a quadrilateral, a right triangle, a triangle, a circle, or a semicircle. However, we don't have any shapes shaped quite like this. However, with a bit of imagination, we can dissect this area into a series of simpler shapes that we can work with. For example, with just two divisions, we can separate this irregular area into a triangle, a quadrilateral, and a semicircle. Then all we'll need to do is measure each of these dimensions, and then come back to our area calculator. So let's start with the triangle shape on the left, and we'll input the height of this triangle is 2.9 meters, and the width is 1.39 meters. And save this to our area calculator. And there's our triangle. And before we go any further, let's remove these other sections that we've already added. So we'll just use the bin icon here to delete the main room, closet, and sump pump. So now going back to our irregular shaped room, let's add another area. And this time we will add the quadrilateral section in the center. And it has a top width of 2.34 meters, a bottom width of 4.69 meters, 
and a height of 2.99 meters. And save that. And then we can add a third section here. And this time we will choose the semicircle. And this has a radius of 3.22 meters. And we can save that. And Price of Job calculates the total area of this very irregular section as 16.6 square meters. And when we click Save, that is added to the area of our main stage. Now there are a few other methods that we can use to input area as well. Let's go back into the area calculator. And let's remove these sections for the irregular shaped room. And let's start fresh. If we look at the bottom, we'll notice that there's a tab here called Rooms. Let's select the Rooms tab. And here we can see that there are a variety of rooms already input for this project for the ground level hall, parlor, and kitchen. And Price Job knows the floor area for each of these, the wall's perimeter, the wall's height, and the wall's area. So if we wanted to add the floor area of these rooms to our concrete floors module here, we would just click the plus icon here beside the hall, and the parlor, and the kitchen. And each of these areas is added to our area calculator. And once again, when we click the total area is added to our estimate and our estimate updates for the new value. And you might be asking where Price of Job found these rooms, and that would be here in the left hand sidebar. The very first tab at the top is Rooms. And here we can build out the rooms for this project. If there are multiple levels, we can click the plus add floor to add multiple floors. So we'll just call this one Attic. And add one more floor called Basement. And then for each of these levels, we can add rooms. So for example, for the upper level, we'll add some rooms here. So for location number one, we can select a room title from the drop-down list. For this one, we'll select bedroom. And for the second location, we can choose again another room from the list of titles, or we can add a new room. We'll title this one bath and save. And then we can select that from our list. Then for each of these, we can enter our various dimensions. So starting with the bedroom, say we've already calculated this, we know the floor area of this will be 20 square meters. Same with the ceiling area, with a perimeter of 28 meters linear, and a standard height of 2.4 meters. And Price of Job automatically calculates the walls area as 67.2 square meters. But if we haven't already calculated our areas, then Price Drop has a quick calculator here that helps us to do so. So here we would click the Edit Rooms icon here in the Actions column. And here we can input the length of our wall, in this case will be 3 meters, multiplied by the width, in this case 2 meters. And we can calculate that. And Price Drop automatically calculates the floor area as 6 square meters, same for the ceiling area, with a perimeter of 10 meters multiplied by a standard height of 2.4 meters, gives us a wall area of 24 square meters. And that's fine if we already know the floor area, ceiling area, and perimeter and height of our room, which we can input manually. But if not, then we can use the room editor by clicking this icon here. And we discuss this in greater detail in another video, and we'll put a link to that tutorial here above. And now when we go back to our calculations tab, and open our area calculator, if we access the rooms tab here at the bottom, we now have the bedroom and bath that we just input here available in our rooms tab. And we could add these as well by clicking the plus icon. If you need to edit these rooms directly here from the area calculator, we can click the box here for edit rooms. And that takes us back to our rooms editor. Now, in addition to the area calculator, Price of Job also has a perimeter calculator. And that's contained in modules that require a perimeter calculation, such as skirting boards. So here, as opposed to asking for an area, this module requires the total length. And if we know the perimeter of our room, we can input that manually. But if not, then here we can use the perimeter calculator, indicated by this icon on the right-hand side of the field. When we click on this, it opens a perimeter calculator, which is very similar to the area calculator. To add a section, we can click plus add perimeter. And then very similar to the area calculator, we can choose the shape of the perimeter we need to calculate, either rectangular, rectangular gutter, truncated rectangular, circle by diameter, gutter by diameter, perimeter of isosceles triangle, 
base of isosceles triangle, perimeter of right triangle, or hypotenuse of right triangle. And again, we can just select the shape that we need to calculate the perimeter for, input our values, and price of job automatically calculates the length. When we save this, and then save the perimeter calculator, it adds this length to our estimate, which price of job can then use to calculate the totals for our module. And again, within the perimeter calculator, we also have the option to use the rooms tab again. And if we're looking for the perimeter of the hall, the parlor, the kitchen, the bathroom, and the bath, we can just click the plus icons to add each of these to our perimeter calculator. When we save this, that is adjusted to our estimate, and price job immediately updates all the pricing for the materials and labor to adjust our grand total. And that is how to use the area and perimeter calculators. Thank you for using Price a Job. Thank you.